Hi, I'm Danny, and I play the oboe. Are you about to start learning how to play the oboe? Or have you just always wondered about the greatest instrument ever? Then you've clicked on the right video. As you can see, the oboe is stored in the case in three parts. You have the bell, the middle joint, and the top joint. The reeds are kept separately in their own case. You can buy a reed case at a local music store, or you can make your own. It is important for the reeds to dry out properly, and they are very delicate and temperamental. So try to avoid keeping them in the foam and plastic containers that they might come in when bought individually at the music store. Also, avoid keeping them in your pets. The first joint that comes out of the case is the bell. It's called the bell because it looks like a bell. And definitely not because if you hit it with a soft mallet, it'll ring like a bell. The second joint to come out of the oboe is the middle joint. I hold the middle joint in my dominant hand and put one finger on top of the thumb rest and the other fingers below. When I'm putting the middle joint into the bell, I'm careful that the bridge keys line up. Once they do, I will hold the oboe against my body and press the middle joint into the bell. Lastly, the top joint can go together. The top joint has two bridge keys. The right side bridge key can be controlled directly, while the left side bridge key can be controlled by the side trill keys. Once you have the bridge keys lined up, the top joint goes in in the same way. Once the oboe is put together, you're ready to start practicing. Remember to never drop your oboe and never play your oboe in the shower. Wait, what? Keep playing, keep singing, and good luck. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Oboe Files video. If you want to see more music related videos, hit subscribe, and maybe send this video to your favorite oboe player friend. I don't know how to end it. That's probably <laughs> fine, right?